Today is about coming together as a team. It's about learning some four simple things that we've talked about. These principles, these four things work. They're proven. Today we're gonna to define some things. We're gonna define what dedication means, what brotherhood means. We're gonna push ourselves further than we ever thought we could go, and we're gonna help you do that. That's what we're after here. Coming together and thinking about the guy on the left and the guy on the right before we think about ourselves to make everybody function at a level that gets you that championship. With the second pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Orlando Magic select Victor Oladipo of Indiana University. CSNWashington.com Oladipo, who graduated in three years at Indiana, is considered a high lottery pick in June's NBA draft. Victor told me tonight coming home for him was an honor, and he was humbled, just to say the Victor least. What has this experience meant to you to come back to DeMatha, a place where you had such great success for them to honor you and what you were able to accomplish at this uh, great institution? Mm, it's speechless, you know. Um, it's an amazing feeling, you know, to come back to where, you know, to where it all started, you know, where I walked these halls with my teammates and my classmates and, you know, for, to have people from St. Jerome's school, you know, the teachers and the faculty come back and support me and, you know, for them to come back and recognize all the hard work, for one, I would never be here without them. And, you know, for them to hold this event for me is truly special and I really appreciate it. People know you as a basketball player, but you have accomplished so much off the floor. Can you just speak to how this place really set the foundation for who you are today? Oh, it's a college pre preparatory school. You know, it, it prepares you for college. And, you know, without that, without this school, I wouldn't have any values or, you know, a work ethic, especially in the school level um, and in the classroom that I, I, I apply to, to college. And um, that's the reason why I graduated in three years, I believe, you know, because I knew how to work hard in school and on the court. And, um, you know, I, I feel like it gave me an advantage. And I went in there and, you know, I took all the attributes that I got from here and I applied it to Indiana. And Indiana essentially, you know, just tuned it up and made it a little bit better. Um, but this is the foundation. This is where it all started. And I'm truly appreciative of that. CSNWashington.com My shot has been clocked at 111 miles per hour. But still I practice. Looking for more power. More leverage. More force. More speed. Did I say I shoot 111 miles per hour? Benny Anders reaches for the basketball with one hand, and I reach with two. Thank goodness for DeMatha High School and Morgan Wood. The fundamentals of teaching me to catch the basketball with two hands. And got a drive to the basket. It's down to seven seconds. You can see the time. Whitberg. Oh, that's a long way.
just one out. That's David Wright. Dominic Brown at the plate. He strikes out on three pitches. Brett Cecil, whose career has just taken off since going to the bullpen, gets the strikeout. And it's two out here in the seventh. And we look at our replay of the strikeout. And with this, Jim Leland is going to come out and make another pitching change. It was just 10 years ago that I stood at this same podium and graduated from DeMatha. And it struck me as I sat down to write the speech today that a lot has changed. When I started at DeMatha, John Moylan was principal, Morgan Wooten was head basketball coach, and the late great Buck Offit was still roaming the halls as a teacher. I played under Mike Jones when he was the interim head basketball coach, was a teammate of Elijah Brooks as he played varsity basketball with me, and was a classmate of Andrew Bright. Uh, but I sat down and I realized I had a lot of people to thank and a lot of people who stuck around. Great teachers like Rich Macheski and Mary Yarish, Tom Burke and Tom Krasowitz. And I realized if I stood up here and, and thanked everyone who meant something to me and stayed, that could be the entire speech. Um, so I stopped by DeMatha yesterday, I stopped by this morning and I just tried to make the rounds. You'll come to appreciate your teachers and how they stay and what it means to be able to come back later. Never seen anything like that. Never seen anything like that because I was about to strangle him for his play up until that point. Goes for Smith, 60-54. Here comes Grant again. Grant over the midcourt strike. Grant, another three on the way. Another three is down for Jaron Grant. I don't know if it's the luck of the Irish or just the skill of Jaron Grant. Second free throw, Chang is on the way, and it is no good. Rebound, Connaughton. Off to Grant. Here comes Grant. Grant spinning over midcourt. Grant behind his back being double teamed. Grant drives the lane, leaves it off the glass and in. And he's fouled. The basket comes. And he's fouled. Jaron Grant can go to the line to tie the game. What he did there was amazing. The, no, I've never seen anything like that. At the line, the free throw is good. We are tied at 60. And to just put a, to put a team on your back like that, just get us into overtime. That's, I mean, you kind of know we were going to win. Oh, it's a great Notre Dame night. It was a really good DeMatha night, too.